The Wemos D1 Mini is my favorite ESP8266 board. It is small, cheap, easy to use and you get many compatible shields. The prototype shield I like most. Unfortunately, these Wemos are not perfect when it comes to power consumption during deep sleep and they do not offer an external antenna. That is what we will change in today's lockdown quickie. Grüezi YouTubers, here is the guy with the Swiss accent, with a new episode and fresh ideas around sensors and microcontrollers. Remember, if you subscribe, you will always sit in the first row. In my last video, I started to build a light sensor using the new 2.4 GHz LoRa modules. As an alternative, I could also use Wi-Fi and an ESP8266, I thought. Because a light sensor has to be outside the house, reach is an issue. And I wanted an external antenna, not the standard small PCB antennas of most ESPs. Beside that, it has to deep sleep because I only want to have a reading every 5 or 10 minutes. What is the solution? I use a Wemos D1 Mini and a prototype board where I add a few pin headers for the I2C connectors for the sensor. I use colored pin headers, which is safer because you see at least black and red for ground and 3.3 volts. I also added the connection between pin GPIO 16 and the reset pin for deep sleep. And I added two pins for power. And because I will later change the power distribution of the Wemos, I add a big tantalum capacitor to smoothen the peaks during transmission. I use 30 AWG wires for the connections. As the last step, I add a resistor from the 3.3V pin to analog in. You could also connect these pins with the wire. For me it was easier to use a small resistor and it does not hurt. Like that I can measure battery voltage and later send out a message if too low. When I'm sure I'm finished, I will add a little hot glue to protect everything. Next comes the Wemos D1 Mini. Here I make two independent modifications. Add an external antenna and reduce power consumption, especially in deep sleep. To get an antenna connector, I replace the ESP12 with an ESP07, which has an antenna connector and a ceramic antenna. I use my hot air gun to remove the ESP12. Before we mount the new module to the PCB, we have to remove this resistor, which connects the ceramic antenna. It has to be removed when we connect an external antenna. In this case, you can also remove the ceramic antenna if you want. I also removed this LED, which was always on. Now you can add the ESP07 board. I did it with the regular soldering iron. For the antenna connection, I used the slightly thicker RG178 cable. It is stiffer and cannot be bent too much. Important on these high frequencies. The second modification reduces power consumption. The standard D1 Mini needs 5 volts and consumes too much current. This is why I cut this track with a scalpel. If we feed the 3.3V pin directly via the prototype board, the USB to serial chip and the LDO do not consume current. The pull-up resistors and the capacitors are still connected to 3.3V. If you connect a USB cable, all other chips are powered and you can program and debug the chips as usual. But of course, you have to keep the battery connected during programming. If I want to use deep sleep, I avoid the serial begin command and most of the serial print statements to save time in the sketch. Time is energy, as the IoT developer says. Because we do not have a voltage regulator anymore, I use a LifeApo 4 battery with a maximum voltage of 3.6 volts. If you are interested in this technology, you can watch the video, which is now displayed in the right top corner. Let's quickly check the current consumption during deep sleep using a child scope. The Wemos with the ESP07, without the changes, consumes in deep sleep around 7.2 mA on 5V from USB. If we cut the trace, 
it only consumes 0.16 milliampere or 160 microampere, nearly 45 times less. And the regular WeMOS D1 Mini with a PCB antenna consumes 175 microampere without the changes. 40 microamperes with the changes I showed you and only 25 microampere when I remove this blue LED. Still 7 times less. Cool. An engineer as a surgeon. Anyway, this is what I have for today. Enjoy the few remaining lockdown days. You will miss them when they are gone. As always, you find all the relevant links in the description. I hope this video was useful or at least interesting for you. If true, please consider supporting the channel to secure its future existence. Thank you. Bye.